Hello everybody, this is Cesar. Um, today's video is about how do I record guitars for YouTube. I have received several emails and a couple of comments in, in my videos, right? Several emails in my personal email uh, asking me how I get the sound, how I get the tone of, of the guitars, right? And I'm going to share with you uh, how I do it. Eh? But before I do it, let me, before I see comments, you know, uh, going to the comment section, <laughs> Let me share with you a couple of things, right? First of all, this video is about amp simulation, okay? So if you're going to comment, oh, you know, you cannot sound ever, never, like with a good and really expensive tube amp. Uh, okay, guys, we already know that. Eh? We are not new in this. Eh? And if that is all the value that you are going to add with your comment, thank you very much, but we don't need it. Eh? So. Uh, this is the first condition, right? This is a video about amp simulation, right? Second, as, as everything I do, right? I do it with my own gear. Hmm? This gear that is my own property. Hmm? My guitars are my guitars. Hmm? This is, for example, my Carvin 1998. It's a fantastic guitar. We will review it in, in, in the next video. Uh, so I am not influenced by any company. Uh, my opinions are just my own opinions, right or wrong. But it's, it's the way I see things, right? The third one that I wanted to say is that as everything is the way I do things. I mean, is this is the way I record my guitars for YouTube. It is not the best way. It is not the only way, of course. I know, right? But it's the way I do it. I think it's a very simple way to record your guitars with quality for YouTube. I think you can hear the tones that I'm getting from, uh, from the amp simulations right in my covers and you can judge by by yourselves right so that's everything i wanted to share before before we we start watching the video but i would also like to thank you for watching right thank you for the time you are putting in watching my videos i hope you will enjoy i hope it would be useful and i hope to see you very soon in the next video thank you very much bye well in all my videos the sound of my guitars is coming from a MacBook, from my computer. So if you're going to do that, what you're going to need is an interface to connect your guitar to the computer. And then you will need applications in your computer to act as amps. And we will see later the two that I'm using currently, right? So the interface I'm using is the iRig HD, this one. Right? And I want to be very clear. I'm not saying here is the best, no, I mean, there are many other interfaces in the market, right? Uh, I'm using the iRig HD, I'm telling you what I'm using, and if you listen to the guitar sound in my videos, you cannot say my guitar is sounding bad. Eh? I think this is a very good interface, of course it has limitations like everything, but for someone who is recording videos in YouTube, using backing tracks, etc., uh, you can hear my videos, you can listen to the guitars in my videos, and I think it is really, it is really a good quality. Mm? Well, anyway, uh, this is the size. I'm, I'm having a peek here just for you to understand the size of the device. It is really small, it's very portable, and we will go and see a little bit closer two or three things that you need to know about the iRig, right? Uh, it comes with three cables. Mm? This one, which is the one that I use, which is a USB cable uh, for a computer. This one that would allow you to connect your iRig to an iPhone, for example, right? And this one that will allow you to connect your iRig to an iPad. Uh, so let's get rid of the ones that I'm not using and let's talk about how do I connect it. So you see, I have already connected one of the, the connectors to the iRig HD and this other one will go straight to the USB port of your computer. In my case it's, an, it's a, a MacBook Pro as I told you. And here what you do is simply you connect the jack of your guitar. The jack of your guitar goes straight into the iRig. Okay? So this is the way it's gonna look like. Hmm? Here is the jack of your guitar, where the guitar sign is, and here is the connection of the iRig to the computer. This cable goes to the USB. Now, 
you have noticed a LED here and the LED is blue this is the way it should be hmm? uh, the LED can be blue yellow kind of orange right or red hmm? and it depends on the amount of signal that the iRig is receiving from your guitar if the LED gets red it may produce distortion and it's digital distortion is really very ugly hmm? so uh, what happens is that you will need to adjust the gain and the iRig has a gain wheel here right with plus minus right but you know you can barely see it right and that's the reason why I put this with a piece of tape right eh? with a plus or a minus because you can barely see this so one note of advice for the guys from IK Media which is the company that is selling the iRig is guys you may probably think about putting this in white or something because it's very difficult to see so you would adjust this wheel right eh? to the minus or to the plus right until the signal is from blue to green never red eh? the way you do it is you know as you perfectly know you play a chord, a chord with a lot of strength right in your guitar with the volume and tones to the maximum right and you are operating here the wheel until it turns between blue and green okay now let's take a look to the apps that you can use in order for uh, the signal of the iRig to be converted in uh, in sound right and and then that sound is the one that i'm sending in my case straight to the camera from the computer right? and i use basically two type of apps i use amplitude 3 and i use th2 right? and we are going to take a look to both of them now well now what we are going to do is we're going to see and we're going to review but in a very very brief way mm -hmm. uh, amplitude 3 and th2 mm -hmm. in 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 next videos i'm gonna go in detail through some of the amps mm -hmm. not all of them because it will be very long uh, that i'm mostly using in amplitude and in th2 mm -hmm. the first thing you would need to do is you would need to buy the application whatever you want to buy right or you want to to use you need to buy the application uh, if you choose to buy uh, amplitude which is here you see on the left corner down right the company is named ik media mm? and if you choose to to buy th2 which is here uh, here sorry right here uh, the company's name uh, overload uh? Uh, anyway, so you go to, I will put the, the links to the websites of those companies uh, in the description of the video. Once you buy it, you install it, right? And then you're ready to go. First, you have to connect your guitar through the iRig HD, and this is very important. You have to get your guitar connected to the computer through the iRig HD before you open the app, okay? Then you open the app, and when you open, for example, Amplitude 3, the first thing you see is this. Okay, you see one of the amps, right? Let me mute it because I have not connected the guitar, so you may listen to a little bit of sound. I have to say that both TH2 and Amplitude are really very, very silent applications, right? You are not going to have an issue with that. Let me just get a better view for you here. I'll center it a little bit more. That's it, right? So what you see is the control panel here of one of the amps, right? Uh, then in amplitude uh, when you buy it you have a wide selection of amps right and you also have a custom shop in which you can buy branded amps huh? I have bought some some of them and those are the ones I'm using in my in my in my videos huh? uh, what I have bought just for you to know I'm gonna take you quickly through a lot of different amps here you see huh? what I have bought is R the Fender Vibroberg? Of course, in each one of the amps, you can tweak the volumes, you know, the treble, the bass, huh? right? So, I bought uh, the Fender Vibroverb, I also bought the Marshall Slash, huh? two, the two of them are coming in the pack. I also bought the Tiny Terror from Orange, and I also bought the Soldano. Huh? 
uh, the SLO 100. And I have to say that this is a wonderful amp simulator, uh, to be honest. Mm -hmm. well, Solano is fantastic. Right? Uh, we will review it independently. Right? Now, so once you choose the amp you wanna you wanna use, right? Then you can put stomp, stomp boxes, right? And you can put uh, like six stomp boxes, for example, you put delay. Then you put, I'm not going to put them in order, but I'm just going to show you that you can put six, and there's a wide selection of stomp boxes that come with the amplitude with the amplitude three, right? Of course, you will always put the compressor before, but anyway, I mean, I'm just showing. Eh? Please don't kill me in the comments. Eh? Showing you how the thing goes. You select the six that you want, or three, or one, or two, right? Whatever. Eh? You also have fast, eh? wah, eh? see fast. Well, anyway, you can also select your your cabinet, right? And you can mic your cabinet eh? the way you want. So, for example, if you look here, you can take the mic far away from the speaker or closer to the speaker, close to the center, you know, in the periphery, whatever, right? And I can tell you that it makes it makes a difference. You, ask, you also have a, a rack, right? And in the rack you can put up to four effects, right? Eh? So you, you have see here, for example, delay, uh, reverb, a tablet here, a graphic equalization, and you can put, for example, I don't know, the it's a parametric tube compression, very useful, right? So you just, I'm just show, showing you that you can put up to four effects in, in the racks, and you can do it in two lines, hmm? in two lines. Of course, you have a tuner, hmm? and it's, it's a good tuner. Huh? It's a very precise tuner, I have to say. Okay, hmm? and and well, I mean, I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but I, what can I? What I can tell you is that the branded amps are really very good. Huh? Are really very good. The, the the simulations are really very good. Right? Now, let me let me close it, right? Don't say. And let me open TH2. Right? So we go to the launch amp up. Sorry. We open TH2. Now the look and feel of TH2, and it's my opinion, of course, is. I would say more sexy. I like it very much. Now, uh, let me show you a little bit more in detail what I mean. Uh, all of these are presettings, and you have a lot of presets, a lot of presets, as you can see. And you have very good quality arms. You have the Randalls, right? You have the Brunettis, right? Uh, well, now, one one of the patches that I use very often is what I, is called Soloist. Here it is. Load sound. So, you see, I mean, what I mean is here you have three stone boxes, for example, right? Imagine that you want to introduce, I don't know, another stone box, wherever in the chain it is. You see that in the moment you put your cursor in the part of the chain, it gets highlighted. And this means that you can insert. And what you can insert? You can insert an amp, you can insert Randall's Brunettis, you can insert the THDs, you can insert uh, overdrive, you can insert flangers, you can so the, the, for me the interaction with the program is much better. Here the amp, of course you can tweak your bass, your mid, your drive, your treble, you can also mic your cabinet as you wish, you see, eh? you can basically do it up, down, whatever. In the moment that you have highlighted the part of the chain, you can introduce whatever the uh, element you want in the chain. Uh, imagine that, for example, you have here a, a, a delay and you want to introduce a compressor, right? Okay, so you will go here, you will do here a click, then you will highlight the chain and then you say, okay, a compressor. Let's say that we want a VCA compressor, plug, and then you have it. And then you can tweak, of course, all the controls, etc, 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 then the mixer, right? Now, and again, eh, guys, this is just my honest opinion. What do I like about Amplitude? What do I like about TH2? First, about Amplitude, I like the clean sounds. They are really very good. And the branded amps. Eh? They are really very high quality amps. In TH2, I like everything. Sincerely speaking, I think that TH2 is a superior application. But this is just my honest opinion. In clean sounds, Amplitude is performing really very well, in my opinion. 
I'm gonna put some links on the on the description of the video eh, for you to hear uh, and to listen to tones coming from amplitude and to tones coming from TH2 and guys you are the ones who have to take your decision a couple of things regarding latency mm? when when you are recording digital guitar right like we were doing right we are doing here uh, there's always the so-called latency factor right which is the difference of time between you hitting the string and you hearing and uh, the sound I have to say that with the iRig HD and the two applications, Amplitude and TH2 is minimum. Eh? Is minimum. You are not going to hear the difference. Okay, now you have your guitar connected to the iRig HD, the iRig HD connected to the computer, and you are running one of the apps. In this case, I'm running TH2. Right? So what's left? One. You can hear your guitar sounding through your computer hmm? but the speakers of the computers are really not very high quality so what you do is or you use a very good pair of headphones and then you're paying for yourself right I'm using um, Sennheiser uh, but they are big and then I, I like to play with a hat so I saw Tony McKinsey I'm putting the link of the video in the description reviewing a pair of headphones and I bought them, and I have small headphones, and I have to say that they are absolutely wonderful. Or, if you are going to record for YouTube, which is what I do, what you do is you take the sound coming from the computer straight to the camera with a stereo, normal stereo jack. It's very simple. And then you connect the headphones to the camera so you can hear what you're playing. Right? It's really very simple. It's not expensive at all. You don't need high, uh, I would say, level of knowledge in sounding engineering to do this and you don't need to spend a lot of money in very expensive gear to get quality videos for YouTube. Eh? You also need a quality camera. In my case, I use uh, Sony. Eh? I will also post uh, in my in my links uh, in, in the description the link, right? Which is a very good one, I have to say. Um, and then you're done, you just need to play with the levels of the music if you are doing a cover with the level of the music of the of the backing track and the level of volume eh, in your application, in your TH2 or Amplitube. Eh? Let me say something about the iRig. Eh? As I said, the company is called IK Media. I'm putting the link in the descriptions. Right? When I bought it, it was 2013 and I was living in the UK. Like kind of 75 pounds I may recall right like 90 US dollars I have to tell you that they are very good to spend 90 US dollars because it has given me hours and hours and hours of practice you know practice by myself for myself without disturbing anybody I don't need to plug in my amp etc etc et so my recommendation is get yourself one of these or another of the interfaces I'm using this because I like it very much right and it's small and it's very easy to use mm? Guys, this is everything I wanted to tell you. I hope you have enjoyed. We will review in detail the amps in Amplitude and the amps in TH2, right? But until that moment, please don't forget to play your guitars. Don't forget to have fun. And if you like it, give me a thumbs up because it always motivates me a lot. Thank you very much.